Yo YouTube, I am Super Yankee, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you how to not waste time scrolling on Instagram. Before we get into the video today, don't forget to smash that like button, or just click it, you don't have to smash it. I just like likes. Ayy. So, the first tip that I want to give you guys today about, on how not to waste time scrolling on your phone, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, or any other form of social media, is to ask yourself this question. What kind of content do you want to intake? I think one of the big things that stops many beginner positive thinkers along their journey to becoming more positive is not asking, you the, not asking themselves this question. What content do you want to intake? A lot of us have this habit of just intaking whatever is there. You know, what we want to really get that emotional stimulus. We want to stimulate our senses, right? And I want to stimulate my senses just as much as everyone else. But for the past five years, I've been developing a habit of actually acting upon the things that are in my head as opposed to just taking them in. And I feel like this is really important because our minds are trained into this culture of instant gratification and just seeing images and laughing and thinking it's funny and getting those emotions that come with the images. And when we think about how our brain is designed, we literally associate emotions with our desires and we associate emotions with how we feel and who we see ourselves as. So when we're taking in a lot of emotion and we're not acting to actually recreate the emotion in our life in reality, it becomes really, really time consuming. And we develop tolerance to the amount of emotion we can get from a single post. So we actually need to spend more time scrolling, more time investing ourselves into the app, more time not actually applying the ideas that we have in our head. So I think that one of the most important questions to ask yourself when you're scrolling is what kind of content am I, do I want to intake? What do I want to scroll through? And I, this is a hard question to ask because the, the hashtags of like funny memes or like or like beautiful or awesome or whatever, these hashtags have millions and billions of uses, right? And I think that, I don't know if it's billions, but they definitely have millions. It's really easy to think about this hashtag. And I'll give you an example today. Like the hashtag of Japan it has about 100 million uses, right? Now I was on my Japan focused Instagram account, El Captain's Log, don't forget to follow. And I was thinking to myself, as I was scrolling through the pictures, two minutes I didn't see anything I wanted to repost. And then three minutes went by, and my attention span was like, all right, man, what are we gonna do here? I didn't see anything I wanted to repost because the topic was really vague, and it got me thinking, all right, how can I specify what I'm looking for? Which leads me to number two, the tip number two that I wanna give you guys. Be specific in what you're looking for. You know, Japan is a really broad topic. Lots of people have posted the Japan hashtag. But if I can be a little more specific, I can narrow down the options to what I want to intake. I can be more conscious of what I'm intaking. When I asked myself this question, the first idea that came to mind was this island of Sakurajima. Now, Sakurajima is a small island off the coast of Kagoshima. Kagoshima. Kagoshima? Yeah, Kagoshima. And I've been there before. But what I didn't know was that when I went into my Instagram account and I was looking at pictures of Sakurajima, I learned that that was actually a volcano. And at the time I went to the island, I didn't know it was an active volcano. And you see, I'm scared of active volcanoes because I'm always like, the day that I'm going to climb is the day that it's going to blow up and just going to end my life. And I don't want that to happen because I can't tell people about it. You know, I can't be like, yeah, you know, I was climbing this volcano and kind of blew up and I kind of died. I can't tell people that. It doesn't make for a good story. You know what I mean? So I learned something about somewhere I was in the past and I thought that was just so, so, so cool. And trying to be specific with what you're scrolling with and also trying to, like, have a limit. This is the next point I want to get into. Having a limit to when you scroll. You know, I think this is a subconscious mechanism because it's like, um, I've been listening to this in Atomic Habits by James Clear, how our brains are trained to, whenever we have a free moment, go to instant stimulus. And believe me, social media is instant stimulus. You can see the pictures and get emotions from pictures on your phone, on your couch. It's, it's not really difficult. However, 
I think that in order to prevent yourself from using a lot of your time scrolling, you should set like time periods in which you're allowed to scroll. I'll give you an example. I just finished a Twitch broadcast and um, now I'm making this YouTube video and I'm trying to build, I'm trying to habit stack it. I'm trying to, every time I finish Twitch broadcast, video. every time I finish a Twitch broadcast, I'm trying to habit stack it with filming a YouTube video. And then after filming the YouTube video, I'll read some of my book. And after reading the book, then I'd be able to scroll through social media. You see, you're using a lot of the, you're using a lot of your mental energy to do things. And then you have it as a reward, as opposed to just something that's there. You know, if you see it in the, in the context of it's a reward, you're not going to spend as much time actually doing it because you have to do other actions that precede it beforehand in order to get that reward. These are some basic tips that I could give you to spend less time scrolling through social media. And it's so important because our time is so, so valuable. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. If you like this video, smash or just like that button. It really helps me out. I really like seeing likes. I like people like commenting on my stuff because I want to respond. And you know, YouTube is hard and uh, I'm not the best at it. But I'm really passionate about these ideas and I hope that you would share this video with your friends because like positive thinking is so like low-key not popular, but I want to make it popular and we can do it together. I mean, I think that um, it is what it is, but I'm going to keep working despite anything because I tell you what, I'm getting better at this. Hey, I'm getting better, getting better. Even if you don't do any of that stuff, all I would say is just please keep coming back. The journey to positivity is a long one and you're not necessarily going to be able to make the journey today, but you can start the journey today. You need more stimulus. You need more positive scrolling mechanisms to intake better content to reflect the output that you desire. I'll see you in the next video, YouTube. Bye. Bye.